Okay, this is to show you how to do a very simple XY graph. Uh, the difference between an XY graph and some of the other graphs you've made for Science Fair is that usually you've been making column and bar and line graphs, and column, bar, and line graphs have a dependent variable which is not continuous, or it's, um, you know, like different categories. In the case of XY, graphs, what you're doing is you're plotting points just like you do in math class with Cartesian coordinates, uh, x comma y, 3 comma 4, 6 comma 8, and the data doesn't come in a certain order. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. I think that's what you're doing for science right now. So first you just need to make a table, and the table is going to have the x variable on the left side and the y variable on the right side. The x variable is usually the dependent variable in science, and the y is the independent variable. And uh, so first you just highlight this blue area here, which is your table, and then you're going to click on insert, and then you're going to choose this icon here and this by the way is Office 360 so um, it's uh, what you normally would buy with Windows 8 if you have an older version of Excel it's not going to be that different but uh, you should probably go uh, look up a good video on the internet um, on YouTube um, because I don't have that version of Excel to make a video for you so you choose this one, for example, which is the basic scatter plot with no lines connecting the dots. Okay, it has already p automatically put a title there, um, which it grabbed from the independent variable. But you can change that. Just click on it. You can change it to whatever you want to. Um, so I know if I put grades here. Grades. Okay, and then the rest of it's pretty easy um, with Office 360. You just click on the plus and then that like if you want to put X um, label Y label you just click on that and maybe you want a legend and maybe you want a trend line okay well let's take off the trend line for now okay so um, for example we have a um, a Y axis label and we're gonna call that test grade. So you just double click on it, start typing. It's kind of hard to type sideways. And the computer is also very slow. And then on the y the x axis you want to label this the hours studied, for example. So you can see that this graph is showing that there is a relationship between number of hours studied and your test grade okay and uh, if you want to make a trend line I don't know if uh, Mr. Gozi wants to do that then here there's a trend line option and and you would have to um, put the model that uh, Mr. Gozi has asked you to okay so I can't tell you exactly how you're gonna do that for the legend um, there's only going to be one item here unless you have multiple columns. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. Uh, if you want to, send me questions by email because I'm not going to be able to meet after school on Wednesday. Uh, my after school is on Tuesday, but nobody came today. So I guess you guys um, have conflicts, but that's okay. Just send me emails and I can make you another video if you tell me exactly what you're trying to do. See you later.